Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you a really quick and simple recipe for making overnight protein oats. You need very few ingredients. I will list them below in the description anyway, but I will just take you through what we're going to be using now. So we have rolled oats. Do not use instant oats. They do need to be rolled oats. You will need your protein powder, whichever you use. Um, remember though that the flavour you use is going to determine the main flavour within your protein oats. So it's worth be bearing that in mind. Make sure you like it. Um, chia seeds. We also have ground cinnamon, but that's optional. You can pop that in if you like it. If not, don't worry about it. You, we need Greek or natural yoghurt and some liquid of your choice. So here I've got 1% um, fat milk. You can choose almond milk or you can choose water. And then you're going to need a container where the lid can be sealed shut. Um, I typically make this in a flask. Today I'm going to be putting it in a bowl so you can see what it looks like, the consistency. As with all these things, it doesn't look great, but it tastes delicious. And it's also a really great way to get more protein into your diet. It's a very speedy, quick breakfast that you can have on the go. Um, you can have it cold, which is great for sort of, if you like porridge, that's great when it's really hot weather, like it is at the moment, or you can warm it up. So it works both ways. But back to um, what I take in, you do need to have something which has a sealed top. So I use this thermos flask that I got from HomeSense and it even has a little, a little foldable spoon in the top. So I can just pop this in my bag in the morning and I can eat it on the train. So it's perfect for that. So the overnight protein oats recipe is very similar, it uses very similar ingredients to protein balls, which if you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description below. Um, that's also a really great way to get protein into your diet, really good snack if you fancy something sweet. But let's get started with making overnight protein oats. Super simple, super quick. What we're gonna do is pop everything in this bowl. Like I said, I would normally put it straight in here. If you're doing this at home, you can just put it straight into the container that you're gonna be eating out of, basically. So first, we're going to take the rolled oats. There's no real science to this, by the way. You can't really go wrong. So that this, I am saying, is a cup. It is actually a mug, but it's quite small. So I'm going to do half a cup of rolled oats. Okay, there we go. We'll pop him in there. We're then going to use... So this is where you can have natural yoghurt or Greek yoghurt. I'm going to use two tablespoons of this. One. Two. One scoop of your protein powder. So I've got Biosynergy Skinny Protein. One scoop of this is actually 23.9 grams of protein per serving. So like I said, a really great way to get more protein in your diet. So we'll pop that in. I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon because I like the taste of that. You don't have to add that. That's totally up to you. Just sprinkle that in. Okay, then we need half a teaspoon of chia seeds. There we go that in. I'm going to give that a bit of a mix up before we put the liquid in. And then I'm going to use this again that's my cup and I'm going to put half a cup of milk in. There we go. Mix it all together. Now at this stage it might look a bit runny if it does, you can add a little bit more of the oats. I'm just going to add a little bit more of this because I prefer mine a bit thicker. Give it a mix. There we go. So this is what it looks like. Mix it all in because at the bottom, you'll stop, if you don't mix it well, you'll see that the protein just sits on the bottom and then when you eat it, it's just a massive lump of protein, which no one wants. 
Okay, so that is actually quite runny at the moment, but if you then put it into your flask and you're gonna put it in here so that it cools in the fridge overnight, hence the name, it will then thicken up. So the chia seeds, the oats and the protein will basically suck up a lot of the liquid overnight. Um, if in the morning you find it's a bit thick, just add a little bit of milk to it or whatever, whichever liquid you've decided to put in. Like I said, there's no real science to it. Okay, Let's scrape those last bits out. So actually that makes quite a nice breakfast. So it makes quite a decent amount. Um, it definitely fills me up for breakfast. So once you put it into your little container, make sure that you put the lid on nice and tight. And then we're just gonna put him in the fridge. Okay, overnight. So once you've popped your overnight oats in the fridge, overnight, as the name would suggest, it will look like this. Now, for some people that might be a little bit thick. So if it is, just add a bit more of the liquid that you've put in. So for me, I would add some more semi-skimmed milk. Um, basically overnight, the chia seeds, the oats, and the protein powder soak up quite a lot of the liquid. Um, but for me, this is, that's pretty good. What I do is add the rest of the strawberries that I have here and a few raspberries that I've got. I'm just gonna pop those on top. And that is how to make overnight protein oats. Super simple, very quick, can easily be prepped the night or a couple of nights before is the perfect sort of on-the-go breakfast. It really fills you up until lunchtime, which is great and saves me quite a bit of money. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe below. So just press that little red button. Um, it makes such a difference. I would absolutely love it if you joined me. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care, bye.